little bit about Shape Live. So yes, I'm co-founder along with Dr. Karen Joyce, who works at James Cook University, and she actually uses drones to actually observe the Great Barrier Reef and look at the health of the Great Barrier Reef and how that's performing. Karen and I um, had a conversation a year or so ago about how the industry was looking for women and girls. We know that we've still got problems with the STEM pipeline in general, but with drones it was particularly poor. So mm -hmm. we decided that we needed to do something about it. It's one of those terrible things of when you see it, you own it. Mm -hmm. um, and so we set up She Flies initially to be a place where teachers could get information, we could go into schools, and it's kind of blossomed a little bit um, outside of what we thought it was going to originally be, and we're now expanding globally. A lot of people, I think, feel almost disenfranchised or disempowered by some aspects of STEM. They think they're not smart enough, they think they're not good enough, um, and, and the, it couldn't be further from the truth. We need more diversity of thought, we need more diversity of skill sets coming in to the STEM paradigm to allow us to actually be completely relevant for what we need for the future. And so that's what we're hoping She Flies will be, is a place mm -hmm. where people get their first taste of the ability to not feel fear of failure when trying new things. Mm. Speaking of the future, we have just had a fabulous workshop by Catherine and uh, colleague Stuart Finn here at Science Meets Business 2017. And we have been looking at opportunities for drones and for um, exploiting, I guess, Earth observation technologies. I know that it's more than drones, we're talking satellites and a few other bits and pieces as well. Can you give us a bit of an idea of some of the possibilities mm. for, for new business opportunities emerging in that space? It's quite a, a wonderful thing actually. There's a lot of Australian startups that are building themselves around this idea of geospatial data and of course everyone's probably heard of Google Maps. Google Maps was an Australian startup that was based on effectively mapping you know, spatial observations of roads and things like that. If you imagine now we're going up the roads, we're putting drones in the sky, you know, we've got all these different ways in which we're going to be directly interacting with technology that needs spatial data that we can trust. You've got to have your cyber security, you've got to have your ability to process and handle data appropriately. So there's this beautiful ecosystem that's now being spawned from the fact that these platform technologies are becoming cheaper, more accessible, and you can even 3D print your own, for mm. example. So also there are uh, obviously ethical considerations, there are privacy considerations, regulatory considerations. So uh, for me it just underlined the importance of an understanding of STEM regardless of where you end up in your life because we need those those lawyers, those politicians, the regulators to really understand the, the possibilities and um, the features of the, the technology, the science that they're working with, don't we? Well, yeah, this is when people say to me, oh, you know, what jobs should I tell my kids that they need to work mm. towards? And I'm like, it's not about jobs anymore. It's actually about skill sets. And what we actually need is a diversity of skill sets. So we need someone who's an artist, but who uses drones to maybe mm. spray paint their art, for example. Or we need lawyers that understand the ins and outs of airspace regulation, but also the ethics and the uses of drones. Um, and also we need governments and we need politicians to actually understand the capability and the positive aspects of these technologies rather than just going I don't understand enough about it therefore we're going to say no. Um, so for me STEM subjects are a way in which you learn how to learn. You learn how to challenge things, you learn how to pick apart things and in fact it's those kinds of skills, complex problem solving and creativity are in the top 10 things that the World Economic Forum have identified as skills that are needed by 2020. So STEM for me is a brilliant way to access those kinds of skills and how to train yourself to not necessarily always believe everything you see on the television or the headlines that you read in the media.